What is up guys, we are back with another reaction video. This time we're checking out Michael Jackson and R. Kelly, Dave Chappelle, six and so on special. Never seen it before. Dave Chappelle is pretty funny. I've seen a few clips of him. So why don't we just jump into this, see what it's all about. All right, let's do it. You goddamn sick of it. This is the worst time ever to be a celebrity. You're gonna be finished. Everyone's doomed. Michael Jackson has been dead for 10 years and this nigga has two new cases. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. And if you haven't watched that documentary, uh, then I'm begging you, don't watch it. It's fucking gross. I felt like HBO was sticking baby dicks in my ears for four hours straight. <laughs> really nasty shit. I want to know all these things. Turns out, uh, Michael Jackson allegedly likes a long gander at the anus. <laughs> As they said, he stares at people's buttholes. That's what they said. That's how gross the documentary was. <laughs> I'm gonna say something that I'm not allowed to say. <laughs> but I gotta be real. Uh, I don't believe these motherfuckers. I, I, do not I believe don't believe it for a second. But let me qualify the statement. Yeah, hold on. Like, I... If you say you don't believe them, people will attack you like, oh, you have to believe all victims. Do we? Do we actually? Or why don't we believe the facts? I'm what's known on the streets as a victim blamer. <laughs> you know what I mean? If somebody come up to me like, Dave, Dave, Chris Brown just beat up Rihanna. I'll be like, well, what did she do? <laughs> Dang, Michael Jackson was molesting the children. Well, what were those kids wearing at the time? <laughs> I don't think he did it. But you know what? Even if he did do it, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I mean, it's Michael Jackson. <laughs> I know more than half the people in this room have been molested in their lives. But it wasn't no goddamn Michael Jackson, was it? <laughs> this kid got his dick sucked by the king of pop. All we get is awkward Thanksgivings for the rest of our lives. You know how good it must have felt to go to school the next day after that shit? Hey, Billy, how was the weekend? How was my weekend? <laughs> Michael Jackson sucks my dick. Oh, my God. And that was my first sexual experience. If I'm starting here, then well, sky's the limit. His voices. <laughs> He's the best at doing those voices. I know it seems harsh, but man, somebody's got to teach these kids. There's no such thing as a free trip to Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna want to look at your butthole or something. <laughs> you know why I don't believe it? You know why I don't believe it? Because if Michael Jackson's out here doing all this molesting, then, then why not Macaulay Culkin, hmm? Macaulay Culkin said in an interview that Michael Jackson never did anything inappropriate with him or even around him. Think I'll tell about you why. that shit. I'll tell you why. Because the people who are saying all the stuff about Michael Jackson are clearly lying and just in it for money. Macaulay Culkin's got money. He doesn't need any more. These people are just greedy and they'll tarnish someone's name just for a bit of cash. Sad. You know, I'm not a pedophile. But if I was, <laughs> Macaulay Culkin's the first kid I'm fucking. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be a goddamn hero. Hey, that guy over there fucked a kid from Home Alone. And you know how hard he is to catch. <laughs> My mind. He's telling me no. <laughs> and 
Uh, okay, R. Kelly is different. I mean, you know, R. if I'm Kelly. a betting man, I'm gonna put my money on, he probably did that shit. Didn't he beat a woman or something like that? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he did that shit. You know, it was bad, okay, so a couple years ago, I was doing a show in Detroit, and I'm sitting backstage in my dressing room, a friend of mine comes by, this chick, Dream Hampton. Dream uh, tells me, right before I'm going on stage, she goes, Dave, I'm working on a documentary on, about R. Kelly. Would you like to be in it? And I was like, nah, bitch, I'm cool. <laughs> I went on stage, I just forgot about the shit. And then two years later, the documentary comes out, Surviving R. Kelly. And when it comes out, Dream's promoting the shit, and she keeps bringing me up. She said, I asked Dave Chappelle to be in my documentary, and he said it was too hot for TV. Bitch, I did not say that. <laughs> It does not even sound like how I talk. Oh, that's too hot for TV. I would never say that shit. <laughs> no, that's what people do. P people say stu stupid lies like that just to sell it, just to get more promotion. Because if you say that, then they know, like, Dave Chappelle was talking about it. Dave Chappelle but I'm going to tell you, you know guys I mean? why I wasn't in the documentary. <clears throat> it's a very simple reason. And uh, I cannot stress this point enough. The only reason that I didn't do it was because, and it's very important, I don't know this nigga at all. I don't know anything. I don't know anything that they don't tell me about. I don't hang out with this nigga, nothing. So what the fuck do I gotta be in the documentary for? This guy, R. Kelly, got another sex tape out now. Can you believe that shit? This guy makes more sex tapes than he does music. He's like the DJ Khaled of sex tapes. Another one. Like, damn, nigga. Like... It's a lot of tapes. The new one's so bad that they didn't even show it. I've never seen anything like this. The prosecutor in Chicago came out in a press conference and read to the media a transcript of a sex tape. Have you ever heard of such a thing? This nigga read the sex tape. And it was so bad that R. Kelly sounded guilty in the transcripts. It's fucking amazing. 16 times the girl's age was mentioned. Isn't that crazy? This motherfucker is an idiot. He was fucking like, yeah, this is the best 14-year-old pussy I've ever had in my life. And she was like, you like this 14-year-old pussy? He's like, oh yeah, I love this 14-year-old. I'm like, man, you need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> you gotta give your lawyer I, something to work hold with. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What the fuck? R. Kelly did what? Okay, okay, that's much worse. That's much worse. Holy You're cow. supposed to be on the tape like, this is the best 36-year-old pussy I've ever had in my life. <laughs> and then your lawyer gonna be like, Your Honor, clearly my client thought that this woman was 36. As he mentioned some 16 times in the tape. <laughs> they gonna know you lying, though. You know what I mean? Everybody knows. No such thing as good 36-year-old pussy. <laughs> He's out. <laughs> Doesn't matter what I say. And if you at home watching this shit on Netflix, remember, bitch, you clicked on my face. <laughs> I mean, if nothing else, this dude's a freaking comedy genius. But what he's able to do with these like risky jokes, very few comedians would even try. And the thing is, not only does he get away with these risky jokes, but they're actually freaking funny. But the thing is about the Michael Jackson situation, I don't believe that for a freaking second. I don't believe it for a moment. Because from everything I've seen from the guy, he just seemed like a humble dude that wanted to give back to kids. But of course, with anything in life, there are money hungry people and just leeches who want to destroy your life. And I do believe they are tarnishing this man's legacy over a lie. And it's a dang shame because he seemed like a genuine, good human being. And that's, it's, it's really sad to me to say, it really is. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want me to react to next if you happen to do it. And have a great day, everybody. Take it easy.